What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today this will be the second upload. If you haven't checked out the last video, it was a shout out Sunday video. So if you want to get involved in that and get yourself some active subscribers on your channel, more views, more subscribers, all that cool stuff, make sure to go check that out. But into today's video, it's going to be a new series I'm going to be starting during the summer and I know I start loads of series and don't finish them, but this one... What is one that I actually enjoy making, um, so I'm going to try and continue to keep this up. It is called the Transfer Room, I'm going to probably upload it every three or four days. Not every day, um, but every few days, maybe two, three, four days. But into the first player, it is going to be Danny Alves. He has been linked heavily with uh, Juventus and is actually currently having a medical today at the club. Um, he was spotted in Turin, um, and that is of course where Juventus are and where the home stadium is and where they play and stuff like that. So he is basically guaranteed to move there it will probably be announced within the next 24 hours so that's that's looking like a very good transfer for him and um, sadly i'd like to see him at barca for a bit longer but it seem, he seems as if he wants to move on with his career we then go into john stones who has been linked with manchester city for ages and um, pep Guardiola apparently thinks he's a great player thinks he's got a lot of potential um, and that's the reason they want to bring him in 50 million pounds so it's quite a hefty price tag for the guy that's had a kind of up and down season he's, he was, he's good for his age and um, but he does make a few it does have a few kind of um bad moments here and there but it would be a good signing i think i don't rate him that much he has got a lot to improve on as well all i'm going to say on him at the moment and um, we'll see how he is next season we then go into alexis sanchez this guy's been heavily um heavily heavily linked with juventus in the last few days and weeks this is because of course Murata has just um left to go back to real madrid and they do need a new striker and apparently they want to put Sanchez in that position. You might be thinking, wait, he's not a striker. But he does play in the striker role for Chile. And that is probably what they're looking at and want to bring him in um, as their new striker for their club. It would be a good signing for Juventus. But it would be a very, very bad departure for Arsenal going through next season. But to kind of um, resurrect that, we have got Alexander Lacazette, who could be the replacement for Sanchez. So Sanchez is the replacement for Marata, but then we've got Lacazette, the replacement for Chan uh, Sanchez. So this could go on. It's like a wee kind of thing that's going on here. Um, and Arsene Wenger really wants him. It is going to be roughly... 20 to 30 million, I believe. He is from Leon. Of course, he did get two seasons ago the top goal scorer in the league, and beating Ibrahimovic and Cavani, players like that, too. So he is very, very good. Um, and sadly, we didn't see him at this year's Euros. We then go into Mikatarian, who is basically just about to announce, I believe, um, as a new Manchester United player. I believe the deal is roughly 23 to 27 million. So it's it's quite it's quite quite cheap, I would say, for a player of his standard. Very, very good deal for Manchester United if they can pull this out of the bag. Um, it will be a bit weird because Dortmund surely they won't let Abamyang go to Manchester City if this deal goes through because they won't let go um, Gundogan, Mkhitaryan and Abamyang all to Manchester clubs in the space of one summer, three of their biggest players. They're then going to go on to Saudi Mane guys, this is going to be the last player of today's episode. He is about to be announced also as a Liverpool player, he's having his medical today so he's basically guaranteed as long as the medical goes okay to join for roughly £30 million pounds, I believe it is, £34 million, um, in the regions of that so it'll be a very very good signing for Liverpool. They do, all, all they do is sign Southampton players, let's face it, um, it's another one coming through now, and yeah, it's just, it's just, <laughs> it's just insane how many they sign, they've signed Lambert, um, they've signed Lalana, they've signed Lovren, and now Manny, loads of players are signing, but he, this guy is a proven player in the Premier League, he's done very well, got the fastest hat trick of all time I believe as well, um, in the Premier League, so he's a very, very decent signing for them, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's episode, if you have, Make sure to smash the like button guys, subscribe guys as well if you're new to the channel. Tell me any rumours you've heard of and I might include them in this and if I do I will give you a shout out. Apart from that I'll see you guys next time.